G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, E4900 time. We haven't done a video on the E4900 for most of the week. And because it is slightly cooler today with slightly lower humidity as well, um, I figure today is probably going to be the best day for me to actually do anything with it. Now, OpenBSD 6.2 and me are not the best of friends at the moment as we're all no doubt aware. And uh, so for this one, Thanks to Andrew Taylor for the brainstorming session, as well as Alex Holst's input as well. I think I know how I'm going to attack this whole issue. Now, admittedly, I'm going to be using this without the Carl scaffolding around the kernel. I have no choice in this matter. But I've got some information that will help me out. We've also got some ways of getting around the problem so that the initial kernel that is installed is the one that will always be used. And as I said, I've hardened up the system here anyway as I've now got, what, three firewalls. So uh, I think I'm fairly secure. Now, so what are we going to do? Well, at this point in time, I cannot do this in Domain C. Um, I can't even boot Domain C because there's moisture in the system. And when I say moisture, I mean literally the board, is, the, the moisture sensors are damp. So we're going to use domain A for the purposes of this. Now, it doesn't matter whether I use domain A or domain C uh, for this demonstration of how I'm going to attack this. Um, but at this point in time, I've got to use domain A, as I said, because the moisture sensors on domain C uh, won't let me boot it. So uh, we're going to use domain A. So let's get into this. We'll go through the same process as I did with the viewer video request, and I'm going to show you how to prevent um, Carl from causing me some issues. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are at OpenBSD 6.2. should pick it up, which it has. Can't half tell I know what I'm doing here. Um, That's just force of habit now. <laughs> it's, it's quick. Put it that way. It's very quick to do it this way. So as I said, we're using domain A for this because obviously we've got that problem with system board four, uh, system board six. Sorry. So we're using system board four for this. six other windows open on the other screen at the moment so <laughs> all right so we're done with that that installs, I'll just check the environmentals on the system. Be, ha be handy if I could smell it, s smell it properly, spell it properly. 
So the ones I'm uh, concerned about mainly are the CPU. So we're at 65 degrees on CPU 0, 67 on CPU 1, 66 on CPU 2, and 66 on CPU 3. That's better. That's much better. Um, for those that are curious, this doesn't actually give you each individual temperature of each core. It's just the overall temperature of the actual proc itself. 48 degrees. That's actually quite nice and cooler now. Okay. So we'll go through all this. Hope, uh, hope it all works out, shall we say. I find it very funny that there's been conjecture regarding the fact of whether I have a, um, e a Sun server at all. I'm a little bit miffed by that because I think it's pretty plain to see that I actually do own a Sun server. And it's interesting, I don't know anyone else in my local area that has a big iron Sun server. As I said, there's been a little bit of conjecture as to whether I actually own one, and I think it's pretty plain to see that if you've watched this channel for a long time, I do actually own a Sun server, or two of them anyway. Just getting no sleep at night, viewers, is making me grumpy, isn't it? So there, as I said, there has been some conjecture as to whether I actually own one outright, and I think, it, as I said, it, I do own one. Okay, so we're done with that. Ah. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. As I said, the um, information I've now got shows that I should be able to do it. So this is Carl. This is the creation of the unique kernel and the beginnings of Carl. Okay. Uh, I've got to go find it. Hold on a moment. So that gets rid of this, this, this problem here. So now what we do is a simple reboot. You see there I've removed kernel.sha256.
I would say this will probably have a dummy spit. But what we will do is disable Carl and stop it trying to recreate on every boot. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Undoubtedly, it'll throw the dummy because it can't relink, but I'm going to disable that in just a minute once I bring those notes up on how to do it. Now, this is using the installed kernel signature to actually get this to work properly. you see there it's failed okay so now what we're going to do is log in actually before we log in I just better check something it is using bsd.mp that's good okay so first thing we do cd var oops cd slash var Make sure it's not there at all, which it is not. Okay, let me bring up the notes on making sure I've totally stopped Carl and uh, we'll come back. All right, so what we do, now that I've got these notes. Oh, now that should have worked. Why did that not work? Um, hang on a moment, that didn't work, wait a minute, oh hang on, I know why it didn't work, I've got to add the packages first, don't I? I've got to add the packages first. <laughs> Actually, I might not need to do that because I've deleted the SHA-256 kernel. I'm not too worried if this doesn't work. Um, oh, new WGET and new Nano. Oh, very nice. I wonder if I get the new Unbound as well. Geez, my net's slow today, viewers, let me tell you. Very slow today. Okay, so we want to do this, these are the notes that I've got, just so that we can, um, get all these 
he's done. I've also got to do the um, Unix crypt function as well, but I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble here. Ah. And there we go. So I've now made the sim links here. Alright, so now what I want to do is just check that database. Make sure it's still not there, and it is not, which is good. So now that I've done all that, before I do anything is um, save the output domain A okay let's uh, reboot this and see if she comes back up because if it does I'll be happy if it doesn't it means that I've, I've missed a step in my notes somewhere but hopefully it'll come back up So, hopefully this will actually reboot. It should, in theory of course, and if it does I'll, I'll be happy because it means I can start using 6.2 pretty quickly. to do is then make sure that we cripple it completely. Now this should work, and it does. So there we go. So, now it'll obviously again crack it, but we're going to do the CVS patch now um, so that we can make sure it's totally crippled. And this is what I mean, putting it into one partition has definitely improved the boot, pro boot time on this. in ah oh, 
apparently this is what I'm supposed to do here. Yes. Oh. see there it's added it now I, I don't know how long this will take it could take a while if it is going to take a while we'll come back once it's done How about instead of just watching this go through, we uh, we come back in uh, in just a moment. 